it has been a great journey for all of us, you know, right from the start of, uh, from where we started last year. And uh, the entire formation of ATMA, uh, the application of the MDA, the process of what we all have gone through and reach at this stage of the ATMA. And they all uh, have some only one person among us. The person who went on, you know, to be a board member of the MTA, uh, it's a great achievement in himself and somebody from us and from India to be on that board. is uh, really uh, sense of honor for us and uh, all technical analysis in is what I should, uh, I should say. And I really want Mr. Shushi Kiriya to come here and tell us the experience he had in US, the kind of view or the kind of uh, you know, the thoughts of what US people conceive about Indians as a technical analyst or the overall Indian market as such and share his experience over there and what he feels and the kind of sense and pride he gets after taking ATMA to such a level at this moment. Sushi, like all of you here, share all your uh, I have had much teacher experiences in India and often it was I can tell you honestly, Kushal, uh, thank you very much for being generous with words. I really don't think you know, the colleagues we talk about this called for, but still uh, many thanks. See the agenda for which we were assembled today is uh, hearing a great speaker, a great achiever, and an excellent human being amongst us. So to let the agenda of the day proceed, uh, what it has been meant to be, I like to keep this very brief and to share all the experiences uh, is something you know not feasible in a very brief time, but I'll probably tell you. See, not just in the universe of technical analysis but universally across every, every field of achievement. Uh, India is currently getting looked upon world over. And to that effect, you know, the growth numbers that have come in in uh, MTA, though starting from a zero base, uh, they are aggressive in the beginning. But more so, the potential, uh, the coming future, you know, things like when you go to Google Trends and just search for technical analysis in the largest number of its on that subject or even on the trading or on any trading related subject comes from India. So in US where this time at the symposium uh, there were representatives from a very large number of countries, in fact the most widely attended symposium so far in MTA. Uh, of course you know, there is a lot of hope and, and looking forward to the kind of uh, growth that can come from India. Uh, this trip became especially enjoyable when I could present you know, copies of the first book on technical analysis uh, published in India by two uh, senior technicians who are both members of the ATMA and one of them today is going to be your speaker. He is the co-author of the first book published on the subject in India. Very nicely printed book and you know, the general vision of people out there may be, you know, it will be rough paper or you know, it will be very graphy binding. So, you know, one of the most eloquently presented books and one indeed felt uh, happy sharing with people. In terms of you know any original research or indicators or tools to come out from India and from you know uh, Indians uh, sort of uh, making their name, that is that that is yet due. But then looking at you know our history of being formally organized, uh, we're pretty young, pretty pretty young, and within say, about a year's existence, we currently account for about five percent of the Indian membership and keeping growing rapidly. So this growth momentum is uh, making us getting looked upon it. Lots of uh, the world famous technicians are keen to travel into India to come by at our meetings, to uh, do stuff with us together. Now, while it is not difficult to excite them, and at least that is one thing I can do reasonably well given the fundamentals of India now, hand of us. In terms of converting that into reality, you know, uh, we'll have to get more organized. And I really don't feel happy when colleagues like Vishal or others describe it as a one-man effort or a one-man army because that's what not the goal was and that cannot remain the goal. Uh, nothing that is taken over by a zealous force can sustain. So while many of us are impassioned, many of us are interested, maybe you know, 
we guys who have initially come forward to try and uh, put this together should take on that as a personal responsibility of not having been able to coalesce this into a very strong and large team. And that clearly remains the key agenda for now. Because see from the idea of a few people, and it has been an idea of a few people every year for the last 20 years. And ATMA has taken shape, but there have been earlier other efforts and they did not sustain. The real differentiator between an idea and an institution is that there has to be a wider ownership. So while we are having the growth in membership at a reasonably rapid pace, I think you know, the ownership needs to get stronger. Even if you are able to or not able to give your time for any initiatives, you know, your curiosity in why something is happening here, why something is not happening here, why something should happen here. No. Continue to look yourselves as dispassionate passers-by, near members. This won't become an institution. But if of the 227 members we have today, they all become owners. We are the seek accountability for those who are taking positions. I'll be very honest with you, I have a dysfunctional board. No. For all the talking we do, very few are able to find time to even give professional replies. And I'll take that as my personal failure in not having been able to reach out enough to the entire wider mass. So while you know things are good and they are inspiring and one can paint a nice clean picture that we had a great time in the US, actually I was pretty worried there, you know, that all of these huge expectations they have, the huge expectation picture I've created here. What is the real delivery happening? Well, the real delivery that has one happened is I really want this house, even though not uh, fully occupied, to seriously, uh, you know, raise a hand in praise and clap hard for this 10th meeting that has been single-handedly achieved by Niyati, who works for ATMA. You know, she's been a very good <laughs> I hope this class persists a little more, you know, despite her uh, younger days, uh, lack of much deep experience, you know, <clears throat> need for a lot of hand-holding. One thing that has been fabulous about her is that she's an exceptional hard worker. So going forward, as we add some more people who have this trait,